we have a vehicle into a structure with a structure fire. They're going to remove the body from the burning vehicle and possibly transport the victim to a hospital. I think it's a miracle that she didn't kill anyone. Anne's rep told us this afternoon the actress was in, quote, extreme critical condition, adding she is in a coma and has not regained consciousness since shortly after the accident. E.T. has obtained footage from a second ring camera, which shows another angle of Anne's blue Mini Cooper barreling down the street. And this is Anne on a stretcher. According to neighbors, she was screaming at the time. The L.A. Times says authorities deemed her to be, quote, under the influence and acting erratically. It was like a bomb going off. This morning, E.T. spoke to two neighbors who were startled by the crash and ran to help. The car entered the house and went all the way through the house. It took 59 firefighters 65 minutes to extinguish the fire and remove Anne from her vehicle. In a podcast recorded three days before the crash, Anne was reportedly drinking vodka and wine, slurring her words and joking about being rocked by a very bad day. It's just me up, so I'm drinking some vodka and wine. That episode has now been taken down, but two weeks before, it was champagne. I swear to God, my glass is jumping. Anne, who's well known for starring in a remake of Psycho and opposite Harrison Ford in Six Days, Seven Nights, has been open about her past mental health challenges. I wrote the book to give closure to my life. The actress has talked about struggles before, including after splitting with Ellen in her 2001 memoir, Call Me Crazy. And the stigma attached to that relationship was so bad that I was fired and I did not work in a studio picture for 10 years. I spoke with Anne in 2020 after she competed on Dancing with the Stars and asked about reconnecting with the talk show host. So if Ellen does call you, what do you say to her? Wrong number. No, I'm kidding. I'll, can I call you back after I have a, a shot? <laughs> Anne's rep tells ET, quote, her family and friends ask for your thoughts and prayers and to respect her privacy during this difficult time.